sometimes when you um, fuse your me your uh, meshes together, you're not going to be able to make a clean and manifold solid mesh. Um, and in those cases, you should have a strategy for how to deal with holes. Okay, I'm going to set the target poly count for this piece right here to about um, 250,000. Um, polys for the target poly count um, for this because I want to simplify it a little bit. I don't want the data to be so complex. And we're going to uncheck make clean and manifold solid mesh and we're going to fuse this together and hopefully we'll have some problems in the data that I can use to uh, teach different strategies uh, for um, data cleaning. And so let's get this started. And I'll pause this while it fuses it. Okay, here's our object uh, after it merged. All right, we have a couple holes, and we're going to um, use these as an opportunity to uh, go through some hole filling strategies. Okay, and so uh, we can come over to our polish fill holes menu, and it brings up our hole filling tool. Okay, and as always, if you want information, I'm going to repeat this all the time, uh, open up your context menu, and this is your hole filling menu, and it gives you information about um, each one of your hole filling tools, okay? Now, the, it defaults to boundary mode, which means that you can come over here and select a boundary, like so and it adds it to your your list right here and once you've done that uh, it'll, you can actually go to the next hole it'll go to the next boundary you can use that to toggle through your different holes but let's fix this one okay so we're going to go over here and we've got this boundary and we can actually uh, click that to preview what filling that hole uh, would be. Let's go back to, let's go back, and so it actually cleared that one. And let's accept this, and it filled in that hole. Now, once you've done that, uh, what it will do actually, it will default to boundary filling mold, mode and you can click on a hole like that and if you right click on that it would fill that boundary like that and it tries to um, it tries to interpolate the data across that hole okay now let me show you some other uh, techniques that you can use uh, for filling holes now here Let's go back to our polish, fill holes tool. Uh, another good way to fill holes is using your um, fill gulf tool. Okay, what that allows you to do is that allows you to draw a line here to there, and it'll fill the gulf that exists between uh, a couple edges. And it's a great way to fill in areas, broad areas like that, okay. especially along the edges. I really like using this when I'm doing edge work. Okay, and that's, you can see that that's problematic. We're going to have to do that a different way. Um, and then once you do that, you click on that, and those have been done. Okay, now, areas like this are problematic where you have overlapping uh, boundaries as you see here and as you see there. So we're going to click this boundary. We're going to try to clean this up. And the way that we do that is that we select that boundary. Then we right click and I like to select um, poly vertices from the boundary. So it selects the vertices that are associated with that boundary. And then what I like to do 
I like to um, enlarge the vertex selection and then do an edit cut and it opens up that hole you see that now it opens up that hole and now I can go into my polish mode and I can um, go in I can go into my polish fill holes mode and get my um, golf tool in this case and I can fill in those areas like so okay and come over here fill in that one and around and around it goes now another uh, approach that I could take to filling a large hole like this is to use bridges and and but before I do that, let's uh, click here. And I'm going to select this boundary right there. And I'm going to say select uh, uh, poly vertices from boundaries. And I'm going to grow the vertices. Um, and grow the vertices. And then I'm going to do an edit cut to get rid of that piece. Um, and I'm going to come over here to my polish. Uh, fill holes menu and I'm going to take another approach to filling this uh, and it's an approach that will often that you'll often use and that's bridges added, adding a bridge and with bridge I can take this stretch it across here like that take this stretch it across here like that take this stretch it across here like that then come this way and it provides a way for you to break up holes especially holes in areas that you have large curvatures in and you can create sub boundaries within those areas and you want to make sure that your lines aren't crossed like that like that you want it to be flat like that and then you can come into your boundaries mode click that hold down your shift key add these boundaries 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 add the boundaries and you can uh, sometimes in this case you might want you might not want to smooth the boundary or you might want to use a flat method instead of a curvature method and you can check that and since that's the bottom it's going to be flat and we're going to smooth that out anyway in the end so it really doesn't matter we just want that curve now once you've done that one of the last things that you might want to do is to come in and do a come back and polish fill holes and make sure you're in boundary map mode and just select your data and to see if there are any holes and I believe there might be one someplace and you can you can actually go in and you can fill that hole and it can't get to that one so we're going to get that another way but that's how you go about and some basic strategies for uh, filling your holes.